So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome to your second ECMAScript 6 tutorial in which I'm going to quickly go through over what let is and why the heck would you need that instead of just going with the war keyword. So let is just another implementation of war keyword with some benefits, right? So what we're going to do is pretty much see how war differs from let. In a couple of ways so first of all let scopes itself to four blocks right for loop or any kind of loop in any sense now what that means actually is that if i do like for bar i is equal to zero i is less than 10 i plus plus this pretty much means that i am just taking a variable i and incrementing it all the way to 10 and i'm just gonna not provide it any <clears throat> block so i'm just going to execute it anyhow so if i hit enter and if i make use of i here pretty cool we do have access to i just like we should but the problem or rather the feature with let is that it just binds itself to the for block so if you do look do like for let j rather let's just say j is less than 20 j plus plus and you run this code now this j was actually accessible only to this for loop inside that curly braces which we skipped that is the definition of this for loop so if i try to access j in here you would get a reference error that j is not defined which is what exactly let does that it binds to the for loop as well the scope of that for loop now another thing with let is that if you define a variable like let my variable is 20 and you define a variable with var my variable 2 is let's just say 30 now you can access this var my variable with window as well as long as you have defined this variable inside global scope right but with let these variables do not actually attach themselves to the window scope so there's nothing like my variable here you can see that it's undefined right so that is one more use case of let now finally what let actually fixes and that's actually what you could use in your code as well is a very simple i will just show you a very simple demonstration of a problem which is closures in javascript and uh, what this actually means is that pretty much let me just show you what that happens so if we create a paragraph here paragraph and we do it just multiple times like that and let's just say we go with something like um, olivar for now right so i'm going to say your paras is document dot query selector all selector all let me just make it a little bigger if that might help and i'm just going to go with paragraphs right and now i'm going to say for var i is equal to zero i is less than um paras dot length i plus plus i know there are better ways to iterate over that but i'm just going to go with this basic one i'm going to say paras paras i dot on click which is apparently just attaching a click event to every paragraph i'm just gonna alert i fair enough so what intuitively this code looks like is that it is going to attach an on click event with every paragraph which pretty much alerts the index of that paragraph if we say so if i click on paragraph zero we get number five well what's happening here well what happens apparently is that this i actually loses its value to the last value which this var i got now let fixes this problem and how does that fix the problem it's none of our business because it does that under the hood but with making by making use of let you could actually fix this closer problem and uh, you do that let me just reload the page and i guess we lost the elements as well so i'm gonna go ahead again and write paragraph and if i copy this we'll lose the oh what the heck let's just do it one more time so this is paragraph and uh, there we go and now if we take a look 
we can say let paragraphs and you can just make use of var here as well it doesn't matter document dot query selector all selector all and we're gonna go with paragraphs and i'm gonna say again the same code but this time making use of let i is equal to zero instead of var i uh, then we have i is less than paragraphs dot length and i plus plus right and hit enter and if you click it now we see that we get a zero and uh, if we click it this one we get four pretty cool that's exactly what we were looking for or rather this code aims at so that is how pretty much let differs from war and there's there are not a lot of differences but uh, you know you might encounter some or if you're creating an app like that if where you want to dynamically add the um, value to the elements um, there are actually workarounds with the war keyword itself as well for the closer problem but uh, anyhow let just brings it to a very simple solution so yeah that's all for this one and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching and i'll see you then in the next one